thank you Destination Ann Arbor for sponsoring my Metropolitan Kitchen. Hi, I'm Megan Levine and I'm here in the heart of Ann Arbor at Bloom Mead Works. I'm sitting here with Lauren, who is the genius and owner of this establishment, making some really delicious things. So we're gonna learn about it. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. So tell me a little bit just about yourself. What brought you to Ann Arbor? I grew up in Michigan, Matt grew up in Michigan. We'd both moved away to other states. A number of things kind of brought us to this place. One, we were interested in moving back to Ann Arbor. We had family here and Ann Arbor just felt like the city that we wanted to be in. There are so many locally owned independent businesses in downtown Ann Arbor and we just really felt like we wanted to be part of that fabric down here. And then in terms of starting Bloom, Matt had started a brewery in Chicago and found out about five years in that he had a gluten allergy and he couldn't drink beer anymore. I'd been working in the education nonprofit sector, but was really interested in pivoting toward food access, food equity, local food sourcing, and I didn't know what that path was gonna look like. So when we moved here, we thought, why don't we try and combine those two? What could that look like? We were hoping it would feel like this community and, and safe space for Ann Arbor. And we've gotten a lot of feedback that it feels like that, which I don't think we could get a bigger compliment as having a business. So that's been really cool. Mead was kind of a surprise to us. We'd had some traditional meads before. We tried one session mead and loved it and couldn't find any more, so we thought, Let's make that too. So we started reaching out to beekeepers. We started reaching out to other farmers to see if it was going to be possible to source all these ingredients. Sure. And it was. And it was. So here we are. What does session style mean? Yeah. So mead is made with honey. It's technically a honey wine. Traditional mead is going to be high in alcohol, often sweet, thick, maybe 12 to 18%. You'd usually drink it still and room temperature, almost like a dessert wine okay. or a port. For session style mead, we drink it cold. It's carbonated. They drink almost like a dry cider. So they're really fresh, really crisp. And we source all of our ingredients from Michigan farmers and growers. So they just change a lot throughout the year, throughout the seasons. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of different flavors that come out throughout the year. Yeah. And I'm drinking a pear ginger. Yep. Is this a seasonal? That is a year round. That's a year round. It's Phenomenal. And I'm gonna make a beautiful pear, apple, and ginger crisp. Sounds amazing. Yeah, with this, and I think it's gonna be amazing. Thank Great. you so much for having us. Thanks for coming. I just got back from Bloom Mead Works in Ann Arbor. I got to try their meads, and I took home this beautiful hard cider with notes of pear and ginger. And I was inspired to make a pear, apple, and ginger, with a little bit of orange inspired crisp. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Thank you so much, Blue Mead Works, for having me. I know your cider is going to be delicious in this recipe, and I can't wait to use your mead next. If you want to make this recipe, head to OurDetroit.com or click the link below.